Hi guys, it's Anne here, and today's video is my top box unboxing, which, one of my, which is one of my favorite videos to film. It is fairly late today on Wednesday. I have just received this. I am going to try and marathon filming this, editing it, and posting it in an hour and a half. So let's see how that goes. I'm going to try and get through this without like clipping or editing, and hopefully that will be fine. So I'm just going to open this box right now, and while I'm talking, the top box is a Canadian subscription box, very similar to Ipsy. It runs $12 Canadian. I pay $13 in... Thank you. I pay $13.56. I don't know if you'll hear that honking. And this box felt very light, but I'm seeing, I'm seeing some things that are piquing my interest. So, the first thing... Hmm. Now that I'm looking at the color, I'm a little... So this is from the brand, I feel like it's called Doucet, um, it's D-O-U-C-C-E, um, it's a liquid lip stain. The color, when I first looked at it in the box, it looked fairly similar to what I'm actually wearing. Um, so it's looking a little oranger than I would expect. Let's just unwrap this and see, oh yeah, this color, I have given away products that look like this because this color unfortunately does not suit me um, this like bright orange color it's pretty I love the way it looks but then when I put it on the face it does not work for me I think it's because I'm very cool undertoned okay this next product is the glam glow glow starter mega illuminating moisturizer so very interested to try this. To be honest, I don't really love Glam Glow products, at least anything that I've tried. Let's let's sample this, see what it's like. Mmm. Hey, when there's no safety seal. Where's your safety seal, people? So that's what it looks like. Let's rub it in there. Not, it's not, oh, there you go, you can see, it's, it's a bit glowy. I feel like this would be nice on a no makeup day. No makeup makeup day, probably. I don't know, once you put, once you put a foundation on top of that, I'm not sure. Oh, it smells really nice. It's like very sweet. That was unexpected. So, yay on that. The Belief, the next product is the Belief Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleansers, so jelly cleansers, jelly cleanser with ladies mantle. I'm assuming that's a flower. Very excited to try this. I don't know if I've tried any leaf products. I feel like I may try a sample of a moisturizer. Let's see. Safety seal, folks. Safety seal. I just want to see if it has a smell. Although now that I smell the glam glow, I'm not, glam glow, I'm not sure I'm going to smell this. Anyway, yeah, it's, I think it smells a little like fresh. Oh, it's like a gel. I think it said that right on there too. Well, jelly cleanser, genius. Yeah, it's got a bit of a scent. It's kind of florally, but not really. Kind of like herbally. It's nice. It's a nice scent. So. Two for three, that's good. There's a little card in here. So the Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser is available at Sephora and it's $34 for 160 ml. And this is 30 ml. And the last product in here is this SF, I don't recognize the brand, SF Peeling So Good, it's vegan. Very good peeling pad. I'm just going to show it to you while I'm looking at the back to see. Oh, okay. It's like an exfoliating pad thing. Um, so I've got those Dr. Jen Dennis Gross uh, like exfoliating pads. This is something that looks kind of like that, but maybe yeah, it's, it's like a natural. It's a, it says easy to use and superb peeling pad with strawberry, raspberry, and blueberry extracts to remove makeup residue, uh, fine dust, and dead skin, and dead cell. Mm. For natural, 
for a naturally glow and purified skin. There's some, okay, never mind. So that looks like that's all I got. Um, it's four products. So the four products are this SF uh, Peel So Good pad, the lip stain, which unfortunately is going to find a new home, the Glam Glow, Glam Glow Glow Starter Moisturizer, and then my favorite of the whole thing is this Belief Aqua Balm Jelly Cleanser. All in all, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 100% honest, this might be my least favorite box. Uh, I feel like I'm very low energy right now because I'm totally not excited by this box. Um, really two out of the three products, the moisturizer and the cleanser, piqued my interest. This is like an okay thing and this is like an okay thing. I guess if this had been a shade that I knew worked for me, I'd probably be a little more excited. So yeah, this has probably been my least favorite box, but overall top box for me has been like two thumbs up. I've really enjoyed all of my other boxes and all the different products. I was going to do like a six month top box review of like all the things that I have, but I didn't want this video to be like super ass long. So I decided not to do that this time, but maybe I'll do that next week. Or what I was going to do is maybe do a six months purchases favorites and what I've purchased and go through all that. So it kind of overlaps. I don't know. I'm going to do both. We shall see. But for now, I want to stop blabbering along wrap this video up so I can edit it and post it for you guys to take a look and see what I got. And that also gives me the opportunity now to go watch other people's top box unboxings. I hope you liked this video. If you did, feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below. And I would love it if you did subscribe to my tiny little channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you have a fabulous day and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye!